What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I have some crazy news. So I have actually just started a brand new series and in this series, we're gonna be talking about all different questions that you guys might have. And remember, you can leave a comment down below if you have any questions on any games and I'll try to answer them. But this series is about answering questions and having a little gameplay while I do it. So in today's episode, we are going to be doing an episode where the question is, what made Roblox Fish so popular? And basically, um, we're gonna be talking about this while we do some gameplay of fishing. And yeah, so let's get started. Also remember to like and subscribe completely free and it helps out a ton. And I have a little PayPal link in my channel in the description if you wanna help out a lot. Okay, and let's go. So you guys might be wondering, well, what about it is like the most popular? Like why does this game stand out from other Roblox fishing games? And you're probably, some people will probably say things like, well, it's just luck or it's just chances that it happened. That's actually not what I think. So basically, I'm pretty sure that the reason why Roblox Fish is so popular is one reason is because of the graphics. Because if you look around, most people don't realize, but this game is actually like really like detailed and looks really cool sometimes. Like as you can see around me, look at this water and like look at this detail when I catch a fish. It looks like really cool, you know? But basically, I think that's one big reason on why Roblox Fish has been gaining popularity so fast. Like if we walk over here, look how cool this looks. There's little lily pads, there's like a little cave worm. I actually did just get down here from a whirlpool and I have no clue how to get out. But yeah, so I guess we're gonna be fishing in here for a while. But yeah. And another reason that I think this game is so popular is because of the mysteries. And you might be wondering, well, what do you mean by mysteries? I mean things like the enchants and things like that, where basically not only do you catch fish and sharks and some pretty cool stuff like that while, um, while fishing, you can also catch things like enchants. And basically what they do is if you catch them and go to a secret location, you can enchant your rod. And that's some stuff that obviously a lot of fishing games don't have. So yeah, those are two reasons why I think this game has been gaining popularity so fast and yeah. Um, also guys, remember, let me know some questions you have down below if you want to see some videos like these. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, so, I'm actually never been in this cave, so it's pretty cool to be in here. Apparently you can catch rubber duckies, which is actually kind of cool. But yeah. Um, also, more things about, like, the mysteries is kind of crazy, because, like, about those, like, enchants, that's not it. There's also, right now, as I mentioned before, this is literally a whirlpool. A whirlpool opened and it's like crazy because I thought it would just be like normal thing for like looks or whatever, but it wasn't. You could literally go in it and it teleports you to a secret location, which is super cool. And I think another reason why this game is so popular quickly is because of the new Halloween update. And you might be like, well, all, the, all games have updates like that. And that's true, but if you've been like watching this, um, the viewer count or like the player count, it's been going up when the update came out because if you looked at it before, it might have been at like 1K, something like that before the Halloween event. But now, this is when it has been getting up in the Halloween event because um, if you see the players now, it's at about 150,000, which is absolutely insane on how this game has already went up that much. And yeah, so it's actually kind of crazy um, what like updates can do. But yeah, so um, guys, there is also a code, so make sure to check that out. Um, I kind of forget what it is, but it gives you this little candy corn bait. I think it's like, uh, like Halloween fish or something, something like that, but like with the fish spelled as the title. But yeah, um, also I really like that, the details of that. There's a whole bunch of new islands, pretty cool. And like events that can happen, like mutation surges and things like that. But basically, like, all different islands have all different rods, and there's a lot of details about this game that even I don't know yet, because I'm not that good. Like, as you can see, I'm only level 18. It's not that great, but yeah. So, um, this game does have a lot of details. Um, and guys, if you made it this far, which is absolutely insane, so thank you. Just saying, if you made it this far, um, I have another video that is going to be coming out soon on this and I'll show you guys once I've caught this fish to show you what it is because I'll give you a hint. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm level 19. But if you open this, you can see that I have 100 crab cages. That's because I'm going to be doing a video where I use 100 and 
talk about another question that some people have. Um, and that's why I'm doing it, but you'll see the question. But yeah, okay, so let's keep talking about why this game is so popular. Um, some of you guys might have different opinions on why this game is popular. Maybe you would just say simple stuff like this is addicting, which honestly is true. This game is pretty addicting. Like, once you start fishing for a little while, you're like, maybe I'll catch like three more and then I'll get off or something like that. But just like me, I don't get off for a lot longer. <laughs> because honestly, I have been on for a while now. That's why I have all this stuff. Once I sell this, this is gonna give me so much, honestly. Cause like, look at this stuff. Um, which I am gonna be doing at the end of the video. So stick around to see how much money I can get. And yeah. Um, and I really like this game. Um, even though I'm not fully sure how to play it because the stuff I know right now in this game is stuff that's like keeping me in the game and obviously there's games where um, You can beat the game really easily and I feel like a game that is pretty hard to beat and lasts a while is Better because it's kind of boring if you just beat it and you're like, okay, that's it Then you probably just leave but this game's different in this game There's actually a lot you have to do to get better rods Technically, the game's not over until you catch like a whole bunch of fish. And if you haven't caught a Nessie, I wouldn't say you finished. But yeah, I did meet a guy that had all like six Nessies at level 19, which I had no clue how. Maybe he has a friend that gave them to him. But yeah, so I also do like the interactions in this game. Maybe that would help the fact that this game is popular. Because if you think about it, um, there's a lot of cool things that you can do with other people. Obviously chat, pretty simple, but then there's other things like giving a uh, fish to someone. You could be like, oh, do you want this fish? And if they're like, sure, then you can just give it to them. I'll show you by this person next to me in a second. Um, okay, let's catch this fish. Also, I've never been in here, so I have no clue what this conception con does, conch does, but yeah. Okay, let's go. See, so if I hold out like a sawfish, I could go like offer item, and then if I hold it down, it'll give him a request to accept it or deny it. And it's pretty cool because a lot of people are really nice and there's a chance they could give you some cool fish. But yeah. Okay, so obviously there are many reasons why this game is popular. Not only the reasons why I said, and there is a lot more, like maybe the bait um, boxes and like those boxes that can give you stuff. Or like little details that not many other games have, like mystery merchants and stuff like that. But basically... As you know, there's basically endless amounts of possibilities that this game can have. And I have no clue what I just got, but it was yellow, and that was cool. I have no clue what this is, but let's try to catch it. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. One sec, guys. This is crazy. It's really easy, but that's probably just because of the steady route. It says minus 70% progress speed. Uh, I'm not sure why this thing isn't moving. Also, guys, by the way, the steady rod's is insane, so I recommend saving up for it. That's what I'm using right now. Okay, let's see. A rubber duck? <gasps> Wait, that's something of the flags. Did I just get a flag? Yo, that's so cool. Um, let's see it. Uh, it's so cool, it's so cute. But I think this is a good way to end the video. So back to what I was saying. I'm pretty sure this game does have endless amounts of possibilities that other ones don't. And whatever you guys think about this game, just let me know. But I'm pretty sure this game is just really cool because there's things about it that make this game completely different, even though people just think it's a ge generic fishing game, but it's really not. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more stuff like this, like the deep thinking and stuff, make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other questions you have. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm Tux, and I'm out. Bye. Okay guys, quick thing, I did forget to sell and I said I would, so let's do that real quick. <laughs> Sorry, okay, uh, please, please, please. Ooh, 2,500, dang. And we still have all this stuff left. But yeah, so, um, that's gonna be it this time actually. And yeah, so, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.